All right, guys and girls, let's just cut to the chase on this week's Feisty Friday, okay? The whole sports reporter, Twitter, saying shut out, saying no hitter, jinx business, it ain't real. There's no such thing as a sports reporter's jinx or curse or whatever you want to call it. Can we stop pretending like that's a real thing? Can we stop pretending like little old me, Jackie Redmond, has some sort of impact on anything based on what she types away on her Twitter account, which like doesn't even have that many followers. I tweeted last night while the Bruins and the Leafs were playing game four at the Air Canada Center. I tweeted what was fact, the Leafs, in my opinion, looked like they were playing some of their best hockey of the series in the second period. They were putting pressure on the Bruins in their own zone, getting lots of shots on Tuka Rask. Things were looking good. It was a 1-1 hockey game. Things looked good. So I took to Twitter to express my excitement. And unfortunately, my timing was very poor because about 30 seconds later, Brad Marchand scored to give the Bruins a 2-1 lead and pretty much Boston never looked back. They took the game and now have a 3-1 series lead over the Toronto Maple Leafs, my team. And I was inundated with a flurry, an absolute flurry of a hatred and tweets that were scolding me for jinxing the Leafs. To which I of course responded, guys, I literally have no impact on this game whatsoever. Just trying to have a good time. Just trying to say how I feel. I thought that, uh, I thought that's what Twitter was for. And yet here I am getting roasted because I tweeted something positive about the Leafs. I mean, you tweet something negative about the Leafs, you get roasted. You tweet something positive about the Leafs, you get roasted. But I was thinking about this whole entire like sports curse thing, like how play-by-play -play broadcasters aren't allowed to say no hitter or shut out when a player is on the verge of accomplishing one of those feats. It's complete and utter nonsense. I really don't understand why we think tweeting out something positive is gonna result in a negative consequence. That doesn't even make any sense. And it used to be just don't say shut out, don't say no hitter, don't say perfect game. Now all of a sudden, the rules have changed on the jinx. You can't say anything positive about your team while the game is on, otherwise you're cursing them and forcing a big fat L on their record. Like I don't, what? When did this change? When did all of a sudden it went from you can't say three words in sports to you can't say anything? That's not fun for me, for you, for anybody. That's boring and I want no part of it. I don't know why people think it has any relevance whatsoever, especially when it comes to play-by-play -play guys. I mean, their job is to literally tell the viewer what is happening. And if they can't tell you that a guy's got a no-hitter through seven or that, you know, Marc-Andre Fleury is a minute away from a shutout, I mean, they're not doing their job. If Vin Scully can call 20 no-hitters and three perfect games and say that he thinks the curse and the jinx is baloney, that's good enough for me. If Vin Scully says it's baloney, it's baloney. And if you're on the other side of the argument, you're wrong. So from now on, I'm gonna tweet whatever I want, whenever I want, and it's gonna be fine because the sports curse isn't real. Let's just put it away, let's move on, it's not a thing. I actually can't believe that I had, honestly, I must have had like a hundred replies within 15 minutes telling me that I jinxed the Leafs. And these people were serious. Like they weren't even joking. It was like a real, I felt it. I felt the real disappointment coming from these people. Like I had somehow ruined their night and let them down. I didn't ruin your night. The Leafs ruined your night. I mean, I had I had nothing to do with it. Sorry, Leafs Nation, but you can pin that one on the Leafs. That wasn't me. I mean, seriously, just let's just think about this logically for a second. If the sports curse curse was real, then life would be amazing. I would just sit here being like, oh man, I'll never have a million dollars. 
Oh man, I'm never gonna be on television. Oh man, I'm never gonna look like Kate Beckinsale. And then all of a sudden, all of my wildest dreams would come true. I just really like Kate Beckinsale. I mean, she's like the most gorgeous woman on the planet, maybe. Anyways, it's besides the point. The point is, if this whole, if that's how the world worked, I would just sit here reverse cursing myself and saying, oh man, I'm never gonna have a million dollars. Oh man, I'm never gonna get a job in the US. Oh man, I'm never gonna look like Kate Beckinsale. And then who, just like that, all those things would just magically happen and I would be like the happiest person on planet Earth. But it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It's not real. I'm gonna test it. Next Leafs Bruins game, I'm gonna tweet, oh man, the Bruins are obviously gonna win this game because they're just so much better than the Leafs and there's no way Toronto's gonna win game five. Watch what happens. It won't reverse curse. It won't screw the Bruins. It won't make them lose. The fact of the matter is, and I'm sorry, it pain, actually pains me to say it because I am a Leafs fan. I was born and raised that way. But the Boston Bruins are just like, they're just a better team with more depth and better defense. And the Leafs, they're not there yet. They're trending in the right direction though, and that should make you very happy. But the point of this video is that it's Feisty Friday, and I cannot believe how many people blamed the Toronto Maple Leafs loss on my shoulders, all because I sent out a positive tweet saying that they looked good. They did look good. So I'm going to continue to tweet whatever the heck I want, and I don't care if you think it's a curse or a jinx or whatever, it's gonna keep happening, don't at me. That's all I came on here to say was that the sports jinx, curse, whatever, however you wanna classify it, it isn't real, it's never been real, and if you think it is, you might wanna reevaluate things in your life because it just isn't a real thing. All we can do is be supportive fans and enjoy the game. But if you did like this video, Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know, do you believe in the curse? Do you not believe in the sports curse? Should broadcasters be able to say shut out, no hitter, perfect game? Or should they be banned from speaking such craziness and delivering facts? You know what side of the argument I stand on, but I wanna know what side of the argument you stand on. So leave it in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like it, hit the subscribe button and that would absolutely just make me so happy on this Friday going into the weekend. It would bring me so much joy. Thank you for watching. Either way, leave a comment and let me know where you're at on this argument. It's been a slice. See ya.